Okay. Time to go check the mail. Ooh. 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 Uh oh. See, it's bright. Yeah? Uh. Say yeah. You ready? Me. Yeah? It'll be fun. Let's see what we got. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Daddy dropped all the mail. You see that? Uh. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Uh. Oh, we should uh. this way. Uh. Okay, sit you down. 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 What you doing? See, Daddy's gonna make sure you shut the door, huh? Me. There you go. Now you can play all you want to. Hey guys, Adam Abstin here. I basically, what I'm gonna do is a little unboxing. I'm not gonna lie, I cheated. I've already done the unboxing. And this is probably the smallest order I've ever had from PTL, uh, just due to the fact that I ordered it before a payday. But since it's getting colder, I really like to do a lot of the smallmouth fishing and stuff like that. So my first one up was the Susky Slayer. I know you guys can't see it. It's the 3.6 JP Hammer Shad. The color is actually a Susky Slayer. If you guys watch any of my videos, you know that I really like the JP Hammer Shads. Especially these little guys. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. Hopefully it's in focus. But the main reason I like them so much is you can use them on drop shots. You can use them on shaky heads. You can really be creative with how you want to use them. And as it gets a little colder, being able to dead stick certain things and it still have just enough action to get the fish's attention in the water and you not move it, that's something that's really beneficial for a fisherman. So, because you want to be almost as lethargic as the fish. The next one, sorry, I gotta do this quick, I'm running out of daylight. As soon as I get it open. It's another JP Hammer Shad, but it's called the Smoking Minnow. It's another 3.6, and the reason I went with it is because in our lakes we really have minnows that look like this, the same same color base, same size, you know, match the hatch kind of thing. So again, I like it because of the tail and the amount of action that you have to do. It works really well in a shaky head. This last time that we went out, and uh, I just absolutely loved it. So I ordered a bunch more. Most of these, actually all of this order was nothing but our, our pro packs. So mainly because you can get four, five, six per pack, sometimes eight. But with this, I get up to 25. I pay more, yes, but it's not much more. And it's, it's more beneficial because I really go through a lot of these things. So the next one is going to be the five inch tickler. And this is the, I actually forgot that I ordered these, so PTL, thanks for remembering for me. Uh, the Scuppernog Blue Flake. This is the five inch finicky tickler. Hopefully you guys can see this, like I said, I'm running out of light. So the way it is done, it's got design, it's got a bigger upper body that feeds down into a tail. And it works a lot like the JP Hammer Shad, but it's a much thinner look. So this really, really, really works for those finicky, finicky fish, hence the name the finicky tickler. So, again, that was the order of 25, okay, there you go, I don't know if you guys can see the name of that. And last but not least is my melon mix. Now, not only is this good for everything that I just mentioned, but if you guys know me, you know I use a Spro Rat a lot for my top water during the, the spring and the summertime months, and the reason I got this one it has that really pretty green color. And with a Spro Rat, you take off the tail and you could add in a soft plastic. It sort of works like whenever you're throwing a spinnerbait 
and you want to throw on your PTL grub or whatever you prefer, which again, I prefer the grub just because of the, uh, the air bubbles that it displaces and the design tail that they have to rip more water. But with this one, you take out the tail of your Spro Rat. If you're not wanting to use it on the shaky head or the drop shot or whatever else you decide, but if you're a Spro Rat user, you can actually take this and stick in the butt end of it. And it comes out really, really good. And I mean, it looks fantastic on the water. This actually has more action on top water than the Spro Rat tail does itself. And it keeps up with it fantastic because it actually has like a, a little buoyant tail. So however you guys want to use these, it doesn't really matter. They, they work in any scenario, especially for those really finicky fish. As I said, that's why it's called a finicky tickler. If you guys are interested in getting some more or first time orders, whatever, whenever you go, use the promo code OMCAST and you can actually get up to 20% off on your order. So whenever you guys go, like I said, check them out. Finicky ticklers, JP Hammer Shaz, they have crawdies, they have a whole bunch of stuff that you can really use, especially in these colder months. So. If you're wanting to upgrade or you're wanting to try something new, that's the best way to go. That's what I would recommend. So hopefully I didn't run out of enough light and you can still see me and you can still hear me. This is my new GoPro Hero 5, so this is actually going to be my first test on it about the, uh, the volume and the actual audio sound quality. So I appreciate it, guys. I really hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, like it, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out. So... Leave comments below and let me know what you guys want to see next. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.